Hey everyone, so today I'm going to give you a proof of this a nice condition that conditional probability satisfies. Okay, so like in last lecture when I talked about conditional probability, uh, one of the student asked me that is this true? Can you give a proof? So I thought of let's sharing let's share the proof of this. So for conditional probability, probability of a complement given b is one minus probability of a given b. Okay, so for in first component, if you have the complement, then this is good. But if I ask you what is what about this? Is this true? Answer is no. Okay, so for the second component, this is not true. Okay, also probability of a given b and probability of b given a, they are not equal. So if you interchange the rule of a and b, they are not same. Okay, but yeah, for the first in for the first complement in the first component, the conditional probability behaves really very well. Okay, so I want to prove this. That means we want to prove probability of a complement given b plus probability of a given b is equal to one. So we start with this. I want to show this is equal to one. But what is this by definition? Probability of a complement intersection b upon probability of a b plus probability of a intersection b upon probability of b. Now you can observe. Your numerator is nothing but probability of b. So probability of b upon probability of b is one. Now why that is true? So if you observe this Venn diagram over here, this is my a, this is my b. See, I can write my b as what is this? This part plus this part. They are disjoint. So what is this part? A intersection b. And what is this part? A complement intersection B. Okay, so this shaded part is A complement intersection B. A complement intersection B. Now we take probability on both side, but these are disjoint union. This is disjoint with this, so probability gets split. So this plus this is nothing but probability of B. So you have the answer to be one. So that's why it splits whenever you have a complement in the first component. Split as in you can take one minus the A probability of A given B. So yeah, I hope the proof is clear. If you still have a doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.